For more than two decades, about 700 sisters from the United States provinces of the School Sisters of Notre Dame, or SSND, have contributed their bodies and brains to science. The research is simply called the Nun Study. It has netted key insight and answers to the puzzles of Alzheimer's and other aging brain disorders that commonly impact the elderly. When David Snowden started this study, he, he, he started it here at the University of Minnesota with the Sisters of Notre Dame, uh, focusing initially on the Mankato group. In 1990, four years after starting the study, Snowden moved the research to the University of Kentucky when he took a job there. Now the study will be returning to its home base in Minnesota. Since it left, the study has expanded to include five SSND branches throughout the United States. I think it continues to be a, a wonderful thing for the sisters to be involved in, and they are really proud of, of their accomplishments in being willing to be a part of this because it's just not a matter of donating your brain. It's also a matter of going through regular testing. The nuns are an ideal group to study because of their homogeneous and active lifestyle. In fact, many are involved in education and service well into their 90s. This is attractive to researchers because it minimizes many lifestyle factors. David and other in investigators have really done a great job, for example, demonstrating the importance of early childhood education in predicting susceptibility to Alzheimer's as well as an active lifestyle uh, in terms of minimizing risk for Alzheimer's. And so it has made some major contributions in how we understand various risk factors to Alzheimer's. The extraordinary findings have made big waves in the scientific community and media. A book was authored about the sisters involved in the research called Aging with Grace, and the study even landed on the cover of Time magazine. The original NUN study was state-of-the-art 25 years ago, and we want to develop a NUN study program in the state-of-the-art of, of 2012 or 2013. In an interdisciplinary approach, researchers from departments such as laboratory medicine and pathology, psychiatry, neurology, pediatrics, and the School of Public Health will all be involved in the NUN study. I was so impressed by the deep desire that I saw reflected um, in the, the folks that we met at the U who really support and encourage and build on each other's areas of expertise. There's plenty of new research in store. Pediatric researchers will further study the notion that early childhood influences can be linked to brain disorders later in life. The U will also have a group looking at genetics to find out who may be most at risk for developing Alzheimer's. Well, we have two major goals in the next two years. One is to continue with NUN Study 1, is what we're calling it. Uh, finish off the assessments and, and analysis of the remaining sisters that are part of the original group. Uh, what we really would like to do is expand the study and enroll uh, additional sisters who are still part of the Sisters of Notre Dame into a second study. So we see the U um, in listening to what they most desire to be about and looking at what we as School Sisters of Notre Dame, what we most want to be about, those go hand in hand. Um, and we're looking at a long and happy relationship. <laughs>